Howdy folks, hope everybody doing real good. We're going to be whooping up a habanero mango uh, sauce this afternoon. I call it habarango. It's an outstanding hot sauce. Uh, it's got some heat to it, but it's a, kind of a sweet heat. It's got some Caribbean notes. I tell you what, it makes an outstanding marinade. You put you a nice piece of pork chop or something down in there for about 30 minutes, put it on the grill. I'm telling you, it's fire. As far as the habaneros, you're going to need anywhere from 4 to 10 habaneros. And the 10 is going to be pretty dag blame hot. I'm going to use 7. And it's, it's going to be about middle of the road. You're going to need 2 mangoes. A big old red bell pepper. You're going to need a about a medium large size onion. 4 to 5 cloves of garlic. You're going to need 2 uh, carrots. And I've cleaned them and uh, you know scraped them off there. Got them cleaned up real good. As far as the seasoning... You're going to need some salt, some apple cider vinegar, some lime, packet of saison. Definitely going to have to have some salt and some Jamaican jerk seasoning. And that goes in there because, you know, it's got some allspice in it. And it just adds another dimension of flavor to this sauce. You're going to need some olive oil. You know we're going to fry this off. We fry off all the chili sauces around here. And if I didn't mention, some brown sugar. Let's get to cooking. The first thing we're going to do is go in here and clean these habaneros up. And I got some gloves on. Because I tell you right now, this stuff gets on you. It'll eat your ass up for three days. And I ain't real big on using gloves in the kitchen. Because I think it's about half silly. With people running around with these gloves on thinking... Well, ain't nothing getting on my hands. Yeah, you're spreading crap all over the darn kitchen, too. Just go wash your hands. And I'm just trying to pull the placenta and some of these seeds out of here. Just pull some of this heat down. Uh, I tell you, he's having there, old boy. They warm. And by doing this, I can use a little bit more habanero pepper and get that habanero flavor without too much heat. Plus, a lot of times there's little dark spots and stuff in there. Uh, I just don't appreciate it, so I get it out. I don't usually ever find that on jalapenos, but for some reason, having arrows is bad about that. Little dark spots and stuff in, in the, uh, the innards. And these fresh out the garden, so I know they're going to be extra good. I'm going to lay these bell peppers and onions down here and just kind of let them roast up and char slightly. Well, that bell pepper and onions over there charring up a little bit. Now's a good time to go in and get the carrots chopped up and I uh, already got the uh, garlic chopped up over here. You just want to kind of just go through and give all this a rough chop. It's going in the blender, but if it's already chopped up a little bit, it just makes it a little easier for the blender to deal with. It's looking pretty good. We just want to roast these just a little bit. We can turn the fire off on that. Get some stuff in the blender here. Get that garlic in there. Alright, we got a carrot and our onion and garlic in. We're just going to cut these bell peppers up here a little bit and then get them dropped in. We're going to get us a half a cup of this apple cider vinegar in. We're going to get us about a half a cup of clean filtered water. Don't use no tap water. It's got chlorine in it. It'll mess your sauce up. We're going to get a pack of Saison Goya in. We're going to get us some salt in here. Do about 
three teaspoons or a tablespoon to start with. We're going to get us some of this Jamaican jerk seasoning. That's about a teaspoon. And that first run there was to just get, you know, some liquid going in here. We're going to go in with the habaneros. We're going to run this again. And this is chopping everything up real good and the salt and the acid we got in there starting to break this down. Now we're going to get some mango in here. Alright, we got the mango flesh de-peeled. i tell you what, those things are a pain in the butt. And this one was pretty ripe, so I basically just squeezed the pulp out of that one. Now we blend. Blend the pot. Do about a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons. And we're going to pour this in here. We're going to get us some good ventilation going because I tell you, it's going to put off some fumes. We're over about a medium, medium low heat. We're just going to let this sit there and bubble a few minutes. While it's bubbling, we're going to get some brown sugar in. That's one tablespoon, two tablespoons. And what we're going to do now is just whisk this together to emulsify that olive oil with this pepper sauce. We don't end up with no oil just floating on top. And a little oil in your pepper sauces really helps because oil is a carrier of flavor. Now what we're going to do is go in here and give us a taste and see what kind of adjustments it needs. I'm pretty sure it's going to need some salt. See where it is on heat level. Pretty darn good. We're gonna get some more salt in here. A couple of teaspoons. Gonna need some more apple cider. Go in with a little more of that. Just lime juice in here. Brighten it up a little bit. One lime. Let's give that a taste. See what that did. And I think I'm gonna put just a touch more brown sugar as well. The heat's good. Mango comes through real nice. Put a little more brown sugar in. A couple of teaspoons. I'll tell you what, this right here has got all kinds of levels of flavor. Oh, oh boy. I think we hit the sweet spot right there. I'm not going to do anything else to this. Give it another taste. Boy, I tell you what, that is good. Give it another taste. Yep. So the apple cider vinegar was about used a half a cup and then I added a couple more tablespoons one and a half lime in there about a teaspoon and a half two teaspoons that you're making jerk seasoning two mangoes big old onion charred up 
red bell pepper charred up, four, four or five cloves of garlic, seven habaneros, a whole bunch of salt, a little olive oil, some saison, some brown sugar. That's regular folks approved. We're going to get this bottled up. I got a jar that's going out and the rest is staying here, so I'm going to put it in that old whiskey bottle. This right here is like liquid gold. It smells delish. And you don't necessarily have to cook this off, but I really think it makes the flavors, you know, meld together. Now, it's going to change flavor quite a bit tomorrow. Once it cools off, it mellows out. I've noticed the heat level goes down 20 to 30 percent, and the sweetness level comes up a little bit. Uh, so it definitely changes the next day. But cooking it off, I just feel more comfortable with it because you're trying to make something that is shelf-stable, and I know there's a good bit of acidity in there to do that. But, you know, you never know what's in your, your vegetables. It could be some type of pathogen or something there. So I like to get it up to a good boil and then, uh, you know, hold that boil for a couple of minutes just so if there is anything there, uh, it's going to be killed. And then, of course, the, the, acid, the acid will help in that as well and prevent, prevent it from spoiling. This is good in the refrigerator uh, probably about six months. What that looking real good. Some habarango sauce. Outstanding. Really good marinade. I got a cook coming up here pretty soon. I'm using this uh, as a marinade on a, uh, a pork rib chop. Outstanding. That's it, folks. Till next time. Peace.